Hey there teachers and students, my name is Benjamin and this is my series covering the Texas Math 7 through 12 exam for certification in Texas. This video is part four of the section covering competency one, which requires the teacher to understand the real number system. So in this video, the topic we're going to be covering is the scientific notation. So basically the scientific notation is just an equivalent representation for really, really small numbers or really, really big numbers where writing a bunch of zeros would be pretty inconvenient. Now, this notation requires you to use some number between 1 and 10 and multiply that number by an integer power of 10. So, for example, what I mean is if you were trying to write 32 million in scientific notation, that would be written as 3.2 times 10 to the power of 7. Notice we used 3.2 because 3.2 is between 1 and 10. and if that decimal in 32 million was right here at the end, I would have to move that decimal seven place values to the left in order to create the number 3.2. So that seven is going to go to my exponent over my 10. So that's how I got 3.2 times 10 to the power of seven. Now, it's important to note that since I moved the decimal to the left, my exponent was positive. But if it was a really small number and I had to move my decimal to the right in order to make a number between one and 10, then my exponent would be negative. All right, so let's see a few examples because that's really the best way to get comfortable with scientific notation. Notice that for this first question, what is the scientific notation for the number 0 0.046? I've already written the number again, 0 0.046, and I show that I moved the decimal two place values to the right to create the number 4.6. Again, I wanted to create the number 4.6 because it is between 1 and 10. So in scientific notation here, you're going to see 4.6 times 10 to the negative 2 because I moved that decimal two places to the right, requiring me to put a negative 2 as my exponent to my 10. Now, you're going to see a slightly more uh, tricky question here on number 2. What is the scientific notation for the decimal equivalent of 8 over 3? So first off, we're going to need to take that fraction, 8 over 3, and convert it to a decimal. So we're going to have to do some division here. I'm going to take the numerator, 8, and divide it by the denominator, 3. Now, of course, 3 goes into 8 2 times, and 3 times 2 gives us 6. So if I take the difference between 8 and 6, I get 2. And if I put a decimal here after the 2 and drop down another 0, as division goes, I'll have 20 here on the bottom. Now, 3 goes into 20 6 times, I believe. So 3 times 6 should give me 18. And that's going to give me an infinite loop of solving, of fitting 3 into 20 and getting 6 on top. So what you'll see here is that the decimal equivalent of 8 over 3 is actually 2.6 repeating. And the interesting thing about this problem is that we're already dealing with a number between 1 and 10. Now, it's not super useful to write a number that's already between 1 and 10 in scientific notation, but if you had to and you don't move the decimal at all, then your exponent is just going to be 0. So this is going to be written in scientific notation as 2.6 repeating times 10 to the power of 0. And remember that 10 to the power of 0 is just equal to 1 because anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So what effectively I'm saying here is 2.6 repeating times 1, which doesn't change it at all. So that's all for this topic. If you have any questions or need further practice, don't hesitate to get in touch with me via the email address listed below. Also, smash the like button for me if you don't mind, but more importantly, share this resource with other teachers who might need it. I'll see you in the next one.